These days are stifling hot. It doesn't quite feel like it's 80 degrees, like they're saying, but it probably is. I'm not looking forward to reaching 100 degrees by this Sunday. I'll have to take another look at that forecast, but that's what they predicted. I've been trying to consume as uh, healthy as possible, but I think the last couple days I haven't been. I've been feeling fine, though. Probably because that's the difference between what an infection feels like and what a deficiency in diets feels like. I'm infection free, but uh, I think diet deficient. I think infections just really trump the uh, the effects of everything. Just you always feel horrible when you have that infection, and I'm scared of it. I mean, why shouldn't I be? It's it's really a nasty thing. It affects my th my chestal area severely at times. And I'm I'm just not sure like what what all I could do is is cooking uh really uh, does that make a difference does cooking make a big big difference on uh, uh whether I get uh more or less infections throughout uh the year my life whatever I'm not sure uh but I'm bringing back um, I'm I'm starting out my teas again I found this actually in a softball park. I wouldn't have bought it myself. Uh, but I'm mixing teas and putting my tea ball in this because it's got a wider rim as opposed to this. This I would just put in like speckles, speckles of, of uh, remnants of, of herbs that I'll be able to consume in the water like celery seed. But this, uh, I'm able to throw things in the tea ball and uh, just soak the tea and, and make a tea out of things that I don't normally want to drink <laughs> because there's just some tea things like coriander seeds I just don't want to I don't want to have to spit out and get in my mouth and it's really annoying but I'm, I'm doing the vegetable soup there's vegetable soup mixes the carrots the potatoes and the parsley uh, just making a tea out of it and putting it in the tea ball not that I don't want that that fancy there that uh the church put together some kind of chicken stock mixed with vegetables and barley that chicken stock's got way too much salt I can't can be consuming that anymore um just a vegetable soup is fine it doesn't have much of a taste um but that's i mean i'm I'm just going for the health the vitamins the minerals whatever I can extract with the water. You know, I want to do that with uh, several things to try to get my health in order because I've been feeling like I got some good energy and stuff, but uh, I I don't think I'm exercising as much as I'd like. And I definitely don't want to exercise midday when the sun's in its highest uh, and hottest position. So I, I just take it easy, hang out at the library here in the northern parts of Vancouver. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty relaxing, too. There's really... I mean, this environment is is busy, but it's relaxed too. I don't have to worry about cops harassing me. The cops is uh, makes the the difference in in being the area being relaxed or not. But it's not so much you know why are the cops there. It's not so much the cops as as the people and and the people um they they seem a little more higher class, a little more yuppie type in the northern parts of Vancouver, but all over Vancouver really. It's not like the northern parts of Portland, which is, uh, man, it seems like a borderline ghetto, but you get some yuppie white people out there mixed with the blacks, and it's it makes for an interesting mix. It's not exactly quite the ghetto, uh, because there's elements of it that really prevent it, but I mean, the graffiti's there, the beefed up security is there, the blacks are there, um, it's just... Uh, there's there's white people that look like like common folks kind of like me but not homeless just better dressed that that uh may be doing something creating a divide uh between chaos and order between the ghetto and the the american dream uh middle class neighborhood i don't know um but uh this area the the northern part of vancouver is 
pretty nice too.